have a look behind me here. It's not just potholes. We're talking construction, congestion, the lumps and bumps all in the road. Look at the road conditions here. We're on uh, uh, Bloor Street, just near Avenue. There's a lot to complain about with the motorists, cyclists, uh, and everyone alike. Joining me now, Elliot Silverstein with the CAA. Elliot, uh, you're launching this campaign with us this morning here. What are you looking for? What are the big complaints? So the big complaints we hear uh, every year are that people are uh, frustrated with the congestion, some of the pothole issues, the damage to their vehicles, and just really the overall the wear and tear on the roads and ultimately their vehicles as well. Let's talk about in the past, the on the list in Toronto, we've seen a couple repeat offenders including Dufferin and Bayview. What's so specific about those roads and what improvements have we seen? So really, I think that the, the roads that are used very heavily are the ones that are appearing on the list year over year. Dufferin is one example where it was number one for two consecutive years, and then actually last year dropped to number nine provincially. Um, and that's because the city has been working uh, diligently to really fix uh, different stretches of Dufferin. This isn't just a fun list that people vote on. Change can happen from here because you present it to various levels of government and say, hey, we need to do something about these roads, right? Absolutely. It's very important. Uh, we, we do encourage people to go to caaworseroads.com to vote. Um, these, this, this information actually helps us uh, work with all levels of government, talk about the need for uh, funding for roads and infrastructure, and uh, really your voice matters. Not just drivers as well. You want to hear from cyclists, pedestrians. We want to hear from everybody because everybody uses the road in a different manner, and certainly uh, the frustrations and the pain points for cyclists are different than those of pedestrians, are different than those of uh, motorists, and I think that everybody has an important role to help uh, improve our infrastructure across Ontario. We're hoping to try and get everything collected between now and May 1st, and uh, we'll release the uh, top 10 list provincially and our top 5 regional uh, later this uh, spring. Melanie Yang, City News.